Hello everyone! I am at St Pancreas station in London and I'm about to hop into the train to go to Margate. Margate is a town in the coast of England, in the southeast of England. It's a pretty beach and it has beautiful shops and the town so I thought going today. It's one hour and a half on a train journey. Yeah, I'm just excited to go. It's 9.30 a.m. and my train leaves at 10.30 so I'm just gonna go and buy some breakfast for the journey and then head over there. I'm very excited. dinner reservation in London at 7.30 so I need to go back to London. I'm just gonna try to walk around and to see all the shops and nice places. So yeah, let's just explore a little bit of what the beach in England feels like. I just got a coffee from this place that I forgot the name. It's so good. If you're ever in Margate, you need to try it. I need to get a magnet because I love getting a magnet from everywhere. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna keep walking and keep showing you around. I'm loving it so far. A Tudor home. This was the typical homes of old England. There are not a lot of them left in England and the ones that are are very well preserved. I just think they're so beautiful and the details of everything, just the details of the wood and the paint. It takes you back in time to the Tudor period which I think it was 1600. I don't know why I'm just obsessed with these things like I wish I could like look inside or something. It is just so peaceful to walk in this street. I really needed a break from London and being an hour away, an hour and a half away is not that bad when you think about it. I just read my book and it went by really, really fast. So yeah, it's just a really good place to just explore the during the day and then just get back to London. Another good option from London is obviously Brighton, which is the most popular one. It's only one hour away, but I've been there way too many times and I just wanted somewhere new. So if you're looking for something small, easy, nice beach day, I highly recommend coming to Margate. I'm gonna give you a history lesson. Do you see that window over there that's covered? Basically in the, I think 
In the 1500s, landlords had to pay tax for each window that they owned in their home. So what people did was to cover some of the windows so they didn't have to pay tax. And now it's something typical of the houses here. Another interesting fact about England is the name of some streets. In the past, you used to have streets like Fish Lane. Basically, it would say what they would sell. So for example, if it was Fish Lane, they sold fish in that street. Or if it was, I don't know, Butcher Street, it was obviously meat. And Love Lane meant that was a street where you could purchase or get some love services. <laughs> I didn't go to the main beach because it was so busy. This part of Margate is like much more quieter, very small, but so peaceful. What I love about English beaches are the cliffs. In the coast, in every beach, well, almost at every beach, you have massive cliffs. Hey! Hi! Huh? I'm getting snapped. No, I don't have that. I'm too old. Anyways. They're massive. I really feel like you're in the coast, like the country ended. I'm so sad that the tide is so low today, but imagine the water all the way to the front. It's so nice. I'm literally gonna cry. This looks like New Zealand. For those who don't know, I used to live in New Zealand and the house is kind of looked like this giving me so many flashbacks. I just realized that I've been walking in the coast for like 40 minutes and I looked at the map and I'm like one hour away from the station. It's so hot outside, oh my God. You see guys, England is not rainy all the time. This happens in England as well.